Jobs, the Shibboleth of Politics. Shibboleth is a biblical term meaning a password that one must have to survive. There's a story. For the purpose of this writing, Jobs is the shibboleth of politicians, which if neglected leads to political demise, and if used, boosts one's political credibility. Onward. While so many politicians make a rallying cry of jobs, gigantic missing pieces can be seen in their approach to the issue. In brief, their approach is to encourage job creation within the existing employment framework. Growth of the existing social infrastructure is the means. Productivity is the measure of success. They're trying to create jobs by creating more of what's already being created. Said another way, they're trying to generate jobs by generating solutions to the same old problems. Solutions that exist in such abundance that competition is an issue. Here's a way to bring some intelligence to bear on the matter. Solve new problems that aren't being solved by the old approaches. Educate people to be able to do so. To do so requires the application of intelligence in new ways. New learning on top of old learning or replacing old learning. The key, education. Solutions to emerging problems require education beyond that required to solve old problems. While Congress balks at funding education and at lessening the burden of student debt, it also fails to address emerging problems that have arisen out of old solutions. For example, soil and water pollution levels rising with the use of pesticides, herbicides, and chemical fertilizers. That's just one example. Overfishing of the seas is another example. Water pollution from fracking is another example. One of the problems of that approach is the entrenchment of those who own the means of production. For example, pharmaceutical companies, chemical companies like DuPont and Monsanto, telecommunications companies, the banks, energy companies, the university system, the medical establishment, political parties, etc. Entrenched interests interfere with new emergence unless they themselves profit from it, while balking, as people do, at the changes required to bring them online or while actively blocking them to the public detriment during these times of converging crises. A crisis is a turning point. Planned obsolescence and poor design are commonplace because companies want to sell more of what they already produce instead of solving new or old unsolved problems. In today's climate of converging economic, health, political, ethical, and environmental crises, such behavior is criminal, but treated as within the acceptable practices of capitalism. And that is sick capitalism. To overcome the multiple challenges facing us today, we must outgrow and allow others to outgrow the methods and attitudes of the past. That outgrowing includes attitudes toward and methods of education, development of functional abilities, faculties of individuals. The days when profits justified behaviors across the ethical spectrum are past. Unethical behaviors, though widely tolerated, are no longer justified by the profit motive. Although entrenched interests may wish differently and act in limited mental capacity self-interest, portending dire consequences for humanity at large. What constitutes ethical behavior itself is due for an upgrade. So while jobs may be a rallying cry, a new approach to jobs is called for, one involving tackling the unhandled crises facing us. A new approach to education is called for education in new directions, and a new definition of education, and new ethics 
really sound morality. As crises get handled in new ways, new jobs form to be filled by the educated elite. As they move into new positions of responsibility, an updraft forms within the job market, calling for further education of those lower in the hierarchy of competency or those in related disciplines, so that even those lowest in the economic food chain rise. New job positions form to solve problems newly undertaken. Simplified, a tetrad or four-part unit of action areas is called for, not just a single approach, jobs. That tetrad consists of, one, identification of crisis areas to be addressed, two, education for competency to surmount those crises, three, ethics that support emerging areas of development, and four, efficient and effective implementation supported by the current power structure. 